All right, guys, so there we have a 05 GMC Savannah. The uh, horn does not work. We're gonna go through the most common things, figure out what it is, and kind of show you how to diagnose it. Um, so you see, no horn. So the most common thing to go bad on these is the contacts behind um, this cover, where the metal contacts touch when you press it and the horn beeps. Um, those are normally what goes wrong in these, but I'm going to show you, and we're going to check the fuses and the relays real quick too. All right, so for the fuse, you find the fuse, get your test light, hook up to a ground, find which fuses. So you got one side lit up, go to the other side, that side lights up, that fuse is good. Um, I already did this part, but to check the relays, the easiest thing to do, you can swap them. So it's the one in the bottom right right there, you can swap it with the one above it, see if that changes anything, see if it clicks when you hit the horn. If it doesn't, then we're going to go back to the contacts in the horn. Another thing for the fuse, if you don't have a test light, you can just pull it out and look at it and see if it's, you know, broke it inside, burn out, or try swapping it with a different one. So it's the 15 amp right there. You could flip it with the one right above it. That's the one you're looking for. That's the one that you could swap it with. So after messing around a little bit off camera, um, now, if you sit here and wiggle this and press on it as hard as you can, um, it's pretty easy to get it to work if it is them contacts, which in my case, I was able to. Um, I got it to work by just kind of... So, you know, beat it up a little bit. Um, you know, wiggle it around when you're pressing on it. The reason that these don't make contact is because dirt gets down inside like the top and the sides. They leave it kind of wide open. So we're going to start taking it apart and show you guys how to fix that. So guys, if you went through all that and you still couldn't get any type of horn action out of it, you could pull the plug off of this horn right here and check it for power and ground on the pins. Um, if you got power and ground, you would know your horn is bad. In this case, it's not. It's the contacts up at the wheel. All right, so next you want to turn your steering wheel to the three o'clock position. You are going to have to get something small enough to fit in that little pinhole. In this case, I just have a little piece of metal that'll fit in there. So you're going to press that in there. It's going to press a spring in on the horn. You're going to pull out on the horn. So that side's released. Then you're going to turn the steering wheel to the nine o'clock position and do the same on the other side. Okay. Let's find that pinhole. Go in there, press that on. So we've got that pressed in there. You pull out on the horn pad. There you go. So what I was talking about that goes bad is these metal plates right here where they contact when you press on the horn. They actually get dirt in there and they won't make a good connection. So we're going to get some Torx bits and pull them off and clean them up and hope that fixes it. So you guys want to be very careful with the airbag. Just kind of move it out of the way. Um, feel more comfortable taking the battery cables off. Definitely do that. So I'm going to show you where a lot of the problems happen with these. Um, most of the time it's these pads. There's like copper connections behind them that get dirty. So you want to clean up behind those pads. And another spot is this one right here. This little one with two red wires. You can turn that and pull it out. You can see there is a copper connection on the end of that. And there's one back in there. You want to you know, clean them up as good as you can. Keep an eye on them, make sure they're not too bad. Um, for the one back in there, you can usually just get a little screwdriver and try to clean it up a little bit that way. 
For these pads, we're gonna get our T30 Torx bit and actually pull them off. We might replace them because this actually has a broken tab um, and it's connected to them. So it might be best to just do them while we're at it. But you can see this has uh, two tabs and the one side is broken. So we're gonna start taking these off. And that is actually where it makes the connection at these little copper points that we're going to clean up. And hopefully that will fix our problem. Right. Sandpaper, see if we can clean them up to where they'll work. You can see they are pretty nasty looking. The old ones kind of look black and dirty. Let's see if we can get a focus on it. And this one is already looking healthier just from a little bit of sandpaper. So we're going to work at them for a couple minutes. Clean them up, make them look nice and shiny. So you can already tell the difference. I mean, it's not even close. So obviously if you guys aren't replacing these and you're just going to clean it up, you want to clean up the contact points on these two. So that's going to be these little like nubs or notches on the sides of them. So you guys can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to end up getting new ones of these. That way we have this connector with both clips on it so it doesn't pop out on us driving down the road. All right, so I put it back together with the old ones just to show you guys that the horn works now, making good contact. Um, basically, to go back together, you know, you bolt them back up. You literally just pop the horn back in place, or the airbag, you put it on and just push the spring clips back in, then you're good to go. All right, guys, if this video helped you out, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I always appreciate the feedback, and I'm doing this for you guys. And try to post a video every day or every other day just to keep the algorithm going and try to get out there.